Hi Dev, um, I decided to do a video response because my text response was getting too long. Um, sorry about the quality, I'm using the lovely YouTube quick capture. Anyways, um, as I was saying, I'm going to repeat what I said in my text message and then I'm going to continue from there. Um, I had said that I wasn't a doctor, obviously, but from my experience, um, I, have, I felt the exact same way that you that you described in your video and um, it was from sleep deprivation and lack of REM sleep which is rapid eye movement um, which is the sleep the deep sleep that you get into when you begin to actually fall into a deep sleep and your body gets rested and um, I guess they say when you dream and stuff so um, uh, right now I kind of feel um, the same symptoms coming back, but I think it's because um, I haven't been able to use my CPAP as much because I've been sick and um, I have the nasal um, CPAP. I think you know what that is, I hope, but it's a machine that pushes airwaves to open up um, your air, whatever, so you get more oxygen to your brain and wherever else. But <clears throat> Um, I haven't been able to use it as much because I've been so congested. And um, I guess I really, the doctor said that I've, I must have had it for a really long time. And it just finally caught up with my body. Like, um, uh, I, it just got to the point where my brain and my body couldn't handle it anymore. I was always tired. I felt confused. And I had thoughts that I normally wouldn't have. I was very irritable. And... You know, a lot of things was happening to me that I actually began to believe that I was going crazy. That um, it was such a, a behavioral change for me that um, I thought I was I thought I was losing my mind, and I thought um, I needed psychiatric help, or that I was like severely depressed, or um, I didn't know what what was going on and I never even heard of a CPAP before this I never even my thoughts of sleep apnea was when you couldn't sleep well heck I was sleeping all day but I never felt rested you know and I didn't know what sleep apnea was until my doctor suggested that I go and get a sleep study and he said that um, he thought I had sleep apnea and that um, he explained to me the symptoms of sleep apnea, which I had a lot of them, and explained that it had to do with lack of oxygen to the brain. And I thought he was kind of crazy. I was like, uh, no, are you even listening to me? I actually got mad at him. And it was such a long process to get diagnosed with sleep apnea because my first sleep study, um, I didn't sleep enough. And the second time I went, um, they... They sent me home at 3 o'clock in the morning because I couldn't go to sleep and they said that it was pointless for me to continue to stay for the rest of the study. Then I went a third time and then the people at my doctor's office couldn't get their crap together and it took forever for me to actually get the CPAP and I was just, I suffered through this, these, um, through this confusion and all these symptoms for months before I got my CPAP. <clears throat> and so I would argue with my doctor and saying, no, you know, you're not even listening to me. I, I think I need antidepressants or, you know, I don't know what's going on. Something has to happen. I can't, I didn't know if I was able to function from one day to the next. And I just couldn't believe that some air pushing, some machine pushing air through my, through my nostrils or through my nose, into my nose, was going to solve my problems. But after using my CPAP for the first night, because I wasn't really able to use it at the hospital, I had to go to the hospital for my sleep study. Um, some people can do it at home, but my insurance made me go to the hospital. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, um, I didn't really use it so much at the hospital because it was so mm -hmm. hard to sleep, and plus they have all these wires on your head, and you're, you're kind of limited to where you can move, and um, every time I'd move my legs or or whatever, I would pull something out and, you know, so I didn't really get much sleep there and I didn't get to use it that much. So when I got home for the first night, I mean, not when I got home, when I got my CPAP, the first night I got it, I forced myself to use it. 
for the whole night and I, I'm still struggling having problems using it all night but when I did I felt so refreshed the next day I was I woke up like at 7 o'clock in the morning which I have been doing lately thanks to my CPAP and I don't feel tired I don't feel groggy I don't feel weak I feel rested I feel fresh and all the confusion just like phew, went away I mean literally it made such a dramatic difference and um, like right now that I haven't been able to use it that much I notice that um, I get a little bit confused and my my thoughts kind of go faster than I could think sometimes but or faster than I could put them together or I don't know how to explain it but it did make a dramatic difference and I like I said I'm not a doctor but from what you said in your video that was totally everything I was going through except I had a little bit more symptoms I mean I thought I was going freaking crazy I really did and I wanted to pull my hair out and I didn't know if I was going to function one day from the next it was bad but I mean I just want to share my experience with you because my doctor uh, my PCP told me that there's so many people that get other treatment like antidepressants and Valiums and um, I used to get anxiety attacks so bad that my heart felt like it was going to come out of my chest because it was beeping or beating so fast but it really wasn't I just felt like it was because I had um, oh what's that called the thing where they check your your heart rate all the time and my heart rate would never go up but I would feel inside that it was going to do, 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 do but it really wasn't I guess and so I mean that was another symptom I had but anyway before I get off track, um, my doctor said that, you know, a lot of people misdiagnose sleep apnea. Or they diagnose it with other things like depression and um, anxiety and not enough doctors think that it's sleep apnea or take the time to send you in for a sleep study and whatnot. So, I mean, um, I don't know, your problems could be totally different, but if I were you, I would... Um, suggest to the doctor if he thinks it's sleep apnea and maybe ask for a sleep study because um, it really sounds like it, it possibly could be so um, I don't know I could be wrong but it just just sharing my experience because the symptoms seem really familiar to me and I hope that helps and um, I'm really sorry that you're gaining weight I don't really have a answer or any thoughts on that I don't I'm not too familiar other than maybe drinking more water can help, I don't know. But um, good luck to you and I'm glad to see you're posting more. Um, I love your videos. Bye.